Think about this solid, a circle from the front, a rectangle from the side. So what is its actual shape? Actually, it is both shapes at the same time. In other words, it shows a duality. In a similar way, light exhibits a wave-particle duality. Waves and particles? What are they? Well, a wave is an energetic disturbance, whereas a particle is a localized object. The particle nature of light can be demonstrated with a simple experiment. If we shine a red bulb on a phosphorescent screen, nothing spectacular happens. But if you use a blue bulb, the sheet starts to glow in the dark. So what happened? Well, when light hits the sheet, its electrons get excited to higher energy states and while coming back, get trapped in a transition state, which leads to the emission of the characteristic glow. But why doesn't the red light work? If we consider light to be made of particles called photons, the failure of the red light can be easily explained. Consider an analogy. A single pebble thrown with enough force shatters the glass screen, whereas multiple pebbles thrown feebly can. Similarly, a red light has less energetic photons which are unable to excite the electrons. So there we have it. We just demonstrated the particle nature of light. Now, before getting into its wave nature, let's talk a bit about interference. Waves like these combine with other waves by adding and subtracting at different points and this process is called interference. A DVD has microscopic bits all over its surface, so upon passing a laser beam to the DVD, the brighter and the darker regions correspond to the addition and subtraction of the light beams similar to the interference of waves. Therefore, we can safely state that light has a wave nature. So that's it. We just demonstrated the wave-particle duality for light. But the kicker is that matter also exhibits a wave-particle duality. Confused? The wave nature of these matter waves can be visualized with a simple model. If these balls represent an atom, the electron has a momentum. Upon replacing the electron with a waveform, the electron is no longer localized like a particle. Therefore, electrons and hence matter can also exhibit wave-like properties. All in all, we can conclude that, depending upon the way we look at it, we see different versions of the absolute. Our perception affects the results we achieve. Maybe that's why a wise man once said, change your perception and the world will change.